Sleep, a time when the body relaxes, recharges, and heals. But not all of us are resting easily. According to the National Commission on Sleep Disorders, one in six Americans suffer from some degree of sleep apnea. When we sleep, the air passages shrink and become blocked eventually. Uh, in some people, it will be a mild narrowing. In some people, it will be complete obstruction so that the air won't get into the lung from the air passages. There are several symptoms. One is excessive sleepiness. They just don't want to wake up. Some people wake up with a headache and a dry mouth. Then uh, they will have a lack of uh, energy. Because the severity of sleep apnea wasn't recognized by the medical community until recently, only a fraction of sufferers have been diagnosed. Common methods of treatment include sleeping on breathing machines and surgery to enlarge the airway. Because the surgeries can come with complications and there can be issues to deal with post-op, and because the equipment can be cumbersome, it'd be nice to have a simplistic solution. Working toward that end, a new jaw supporting device has been designed to help reduce snoring and the symptoms associated with obstructive sleep apnea. It works at retraining the tissue and muscle around the mouth to stay closed while sleeping. Ultimately, it's just helping you keep your mouth substantially closed while you're sleeping. It's keeping the jaw substantially supported so it can't collapse backwards and your tongue can't collapse back and close off your air. It doesn't work uh, for everybody, it's not a cure-all for obstructive sleep apnea, but we have a very high success rate. I guess I was thinking I was not getting enough sleep at night, you know, waking up constantly. So I just figured I would have it checked out. They found out I had sleep apnea and the device does help out a lot. Seem to get up and feel just fine in the morning, whereas I'm not near as tired as I used to be. In the limited pilot study that we did that involved 11 patients, we had very positive results with the majority. And the, the patients have reported that, that they have been feeling better, one patient in particular. And this, this technology has great potential. Further research shows that if not treated correctly, sleep disorders may open the door to other health problems. It may lead into stroke, blood pressure, diabetes, depression. All those are there from, as far as from the medical standpoint. It has been estimated that an average American needs at least seven and a half hours of sleep every night on a consistent basis. Even one night's sleep deprivation can lead to sleepiness, lack of uh, interest, concentration problems, uh, productivity will go down. So that's extremely important. Resting our tired bodies. For those who suffer from a sleep disorder, it can sometimes turn into a nightmare. But continued changes in how we address mechanical problems may help us lay our apprehensions to rest and put some of our health problems to bed.